Hi, this is Weekly Reflections, and I'm Nancy Joy. Uh, I ran across a great article. It was an interview, actually, that John Rappaport did, if you guys know him. He's great. Uh, by a hypnotherapist named uh, Jack True. <laughs> Who knows if it's his real name? I found it interesting. But he, in a, he's passed away now, but in this interview, as he was explaining, in the course of all he did, he ran across a number of people who, uh, in, in the hypnosis, had a construct of their future and the future world. And it was very real for them, very detailed, very, um, you know, uh, wasn't vague. It was very um, concrete construct. And, of course, each of their future worlds varied according to them. And he made this statement in the interview uh, that I think it would help us all to clarify and understand and um, ponder on. He said the Akishic records are, are really distributed in our subconscious. That's where they are. The whole uh, Akishic library that we hear about is is a construct, is, is, is within us. Of course, uh, if we are truly a spark of God, there's nothing that isn't within us. But the interesting thing here is that, first of all, those of you who don't know what the Akishic records are, um, it's a Sanskrit term. And uh, it's described as, I'm going to read this, as a compendium of mystical knowledge encoded in the non-physical plane of existence. Uh, well, of course, our subconscious is a non-physical plane of existence. Somehow, and certainly early on in, in my journeys, and when I would go to Egypt, uh, they're between the paws of the Sphinx, and they're here, and the Akashic records are there. And, um, yeah, <laughs> they're probably reflections in all those places, because what, what it is is the construct is within us. Uh, and they're thought to contain all the knowledge of human experience um, on every plane of existence, past, present, and future. Well, why wouldn't that be? That's DNA. That's coded in our cells to, to a large extent. We, we know that much, right? And so then that uh, takes us to, to an even more profound understanding because... Um, so often we think of these things as out there somewhere, like heaven, or hell, or the Akashic Records, or um, uh, all those things. And really, we spend a lot of time uh, working on the past to heal ourselves and understanding um, the moment. And yet, I wonder if we can really realize that we are also creating these things as we are imagining them, feeling them, and thinking about them, and storing those creations. And he makes this one point at the end that I really, really love. Uh, perhaps we're acting in the present, right now, according to the role we've created for ourselves in the future. Listen to that again. Perhaps we are acting in the present, according to the roles we've created for ourselves in the future. Whew, that felt good to me. It made a lot of sense to me. It explained a lot of things about myself to me. And so I guess this is short and sweet this Monday morning, but uh, let's take a moment to ponder that your imagination is what's creating your future reality and even your present and your past reality. Uh, I believe we can change the past by a new construct in this moment of how we see it, feel it, and understand it. It changes it. That's, to me, what we call DNA recoding. So this is kind of deep and vast and nothing to be taken lightly, but I found it exciting, and I feel that it's thoughts to ponder this Monday morning. And uh, check further uh, on that. Uh, go to John Rappaport and check on uh, Jack True. And I think you'll you'll find a lot of amazing and interesting things. Uh, don't forget to sign up on Heartlights, www.heartlights.net, for more updates and work with Ezekiel. And have a great week. We'll see you again next week.